Social movements in Argentina are accusing the right-wing pro-party and conservative sectors of the judiciary of foul play. Now this after it was revealed that a raid on a Kirchner family hotel was financed by Buenos Aires city taxpayers and had the objective of weakening the government ahead of October's general election. Leo Poletti now explains it all. It's a smear campaign. That's how Argentina's ruling coalition, the Front for Victory, and popular organizations have described the accusations of money laundering in the company that administers a hotel in southern Argentina, which is partly owned by the presidential family. They say it's a deliberate campaign by anti-democratic sectors of the judiciary to destabilize the government of Cristina Fernandez. I think that this campaign of complaints and investigations against the government clearly seeks to affect the electoral process that is underway in my country, in which the ruling party has a clear possibility of being re-elected to those elections. It has emerged that the party that dominates Argentina's right-wing politics and governs Argentina's federal capital, the Pro Party, used taxpayer funds to pay for an elaborate police raid carried out by the Buenos Aires City Police Force. The raid took place almost 3,000 kilometers away from its jurisdiction in the remote southern province of Santa Cruz. What we have seen in the past is that when the Buenos Aires City Judiciary gives orders to the Metropolitan Police, the Metropolitan Police does not comply, not even within its home district. So why did it comply and carry out this raid so far away? We want to know how many and which police officers were sent. If the judiciary just wanted to look at two books of accounts, why did they use nearly 50 metropolitan police officers? We called for a formal hearing in the Legislative Assembly last Thursday, but the pro-party stalled and blocked any possibility of the hearing going ahead and of local people learning the truth. As occurs in various countries across Latin America and following the guidelines of the plans of destabilization pushed on by US imperialism in the region, Argentina's right wing, acknowledging that it has serious difficulty to defeat the government via the ballot box, turns to alternative methods, resorting to assembling political smear campaigns which seek to damage the government's reputation only weeks before national elections are held. They have tried by various means. Earlier this year, they tried to blame the national government for the death of prosecutor Alberto Nisman and accused the government of encouraging his assassination. And in recent days, they have again been trying to exploit the friction that exists between different branches of the state, trying to get the judiciary to do the job that the political opposition has been unable to do. The judge who ordered the high-profile raid is Claudio Bonadillo. He faces 17 lawsuits for offences such as poor performance, ill treatment, discrimination, illicit enrichment and even the covering up of a drug network. Since the raid, the judge has been removed from the case. Leo Politico Telesur, Buenos Aires.